Black power. Black power. Black power. Black power. Black power. Black power. All right, family. I just wanted to see how strong we were. You know, shit popping off. I'm trying to see. Y'all can have a seat. Have a seat. Trying to see the resolve of the community. You know, we, we plan to come here long before this. You know, and so by the ancestors' will, shit. This is, hey, when I landed, it was going down. So I was here with you. And I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? For real, black motherfuckers doing this shit? You know what I'm saying? But we had to step back. We had to step back. We had to wait. We got to see if some more cars need to be played. You see? You know, hey, we can't rush. You know, family got to come forward. You know, if this man was a real man, he got family. He got friends and things. And then they'll come forward and, and that information should be, you know, give it to the people and so we can see who this is. If it does not happen, where, where you come from? So we got to see some more things and, you know, these pictures. And, you know, we're not throwing nothing out there till we see. And if it is, then it is, you know. Fuck that, you know, that's what revolution is. We talk revolution, then we see a little bit of it. Motherfuckers ain't ready. See, you, you, you ask for it. Then it show up, and that go for everybody, you know what I'm saying? We're in a peculiar position, you know, because we've been brought here. We were kidnapped people. That ain't never been resolved. They know what they done done to our people, and so that's why they stay strapped like they do. That's why they kill us the way that they kill us. This shit ain't never changed. There ain't never been no period, periods in America where we wasn't being brutally murdered. This shit just, we got cameras today. And you can see this shit still live. You can be live. And shit, you know, you think it ain't gonna matter? I mean, what is you asking us? You know, so this is a peculiar position that we're in, but we must rise to the occasion. You see? We must rise to the occasion. We can't turn back. Because there's nothing for us back there. We got to move forward. Fuck that. You know, we knew what this shit was about before any of this. So we must still continue forward with this plan. But we don't need no rushing to nothing. It will reveal itself. It will reveal itself. And don't nobody say it. If you're not that man's peoples, they should get that information. We not his peoples. We, you know, we not his peoples. Let his people step up and get that message or who he is, and then we can see a clear understanding, you know? And then we'll judge it from there, because ours is ours. We take care of ours. That's it. And we're not saying nothing, but it is what it is. If we call to and beat the fucking drums and call on all these African spirits or warriors, and then they start showing up, then niggas get to looking stupid and shit. That ain't what this fuck shit is about. It's about resolve now. It's even more. You lock arms, nigga. We could get over this shit today, nigga. You be tight. We got to be tight with one another. And in that, you know, we'll find comfort. But when you dis, you know, you dis, all everybody arguing over some bull, that shit got to cease immediately. Right now, bro. Right now, I don't want to hear shit. We, you know, we, fuck that. Leave that alone. I mean, I'm saying it like that so we can see what's happening. We don't need niggas making smoke for no reason. Okay? So we're going to move forward, with what we're, and we're going to be able to discuss this because this is an ancient hate. You know, these people do this shit like this because they are bore our ass. They do this shit every day, and they thirst for this, and they don't, you can't, you got to break their fucking back to get them out of all this pillaging and shit they've been doing because they lust for it. Let me move through this. Let me move through some of this. Let me move through, let me move through some of this. I'm going straight into some fire. Okay, you know, let me come back, let me come back, let me come back, let me come back, let me come back. Turn your phones off, family. You see right there that it's going to be flame, even before I got here. We, we didn't talk too much shit. You got to see this shit down now. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why it's real. See, you can't come in here dotting no I's and crossing no T. People want to feel if you're real about this shit, because it's going to get real. Regardless, our community have been chosen for some reason or another. And we're going to have to live up to this. You see what I'm saying? All our ancestors is riding on us today. We can win it all, we can lose it all. You know, but there's no going back. A war with this, this white race today, there will be no reconciliation with the races. Okay? So don't get no mis- you know, like it's going to go back to yesterday. You see what I'm saying? So you already got to know that it's your skin on why they murder you is in, not because your religion, who you work for, none of that, who fraternity, sorority, they don't ask you that shit. They shooting first. They don't give a fuck about nothing on your ID. They don't care how many years you didn't work for them or none of that shit. It's because it, it, it's coming to a head. They know this shit, okay? Too many of us is caught up in these religions and we giving these motherfuckers a chance when we ought not be giving them no goddamn chance. They ain't never gave us no chance. We can't get scared the first time we see something and we, we be, we be, been dying all along in the thousands, all these cities collecting murders, all types of crimes, and then soon that's that Krakatosis. See? You do everything that's white is divine in your mind. You see the little white baby, you crying, oh she's so beautiful. You see? Goddamn babies walking around with white dolls. You see? That's the crack of toast. Is when you see heaven, you see little white pretty angels and shit floating around on some clouds. This is real. You see? And even in goddamn slavery, you know, where they gave their babies to our uh, our women and our women gave their babies to the white man and they took them and trained them on how to be the coon ass niggas they is today. They've been genetically breeding these niggas since goddamn Willie Lynch. Okay? I'm standing on the Nile Valley. I am a brother of the craft. I don't come play no games. You see, I've been putting my life just like the brothers before us, been putting our, our lives on the line. We can't turn back now. Nah. You want to, y'all been picking on us since we've been here, goddammit. We just ain't never served you motherfuckers. What am I to say? Am I to come up here and we've been talking all this shit all over the internet? Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X and Khalid is standing on our shoulders today. And then now you niggas are scared, looking for solidarity. No, I didn't say it. I know you're scared, but that's, what, that, that's causing us to elevate even more. See? The unity is the power. The blackness is what we're talking about. You see what I'm saying? We got to know that we're we in this together or we're going to die. We're going to be a motherfucking mark in history. We will be exterminated. Okay, this is real motherfucking talk. You got to win at all costs. I couldn't come here and tell you nothing else. Because when it get down to the get down, it's not coming back to this. And so, so you're not going to be giving no mercy Okay, you will be hoarded off. They got plans for it. I didn't make it up. They got that shit right down there in the Congress right now. You just want to deny the shit that your good white cracker friend would ever do you like that. <laughs> now, Sally, <laughs> she bought me lunch. <laughs> you see? Let the cracker play you all the motherfucking time. And y'all, you know, we, we got to stand on that. Our ancestors was right. Okay? Let me keep it moving, because I want to get into some. Of course, you know, that's the new site. We're going to be hyping it up. Cracker can't take me on Facebook. I'm too raw for YouTube. You see what I'm saying? It won't be long. Motherfuckers going to kick me off of Instagram, too. Shit, everywhere I go, because I'm going to say what need to be said. And a lot of people don't like that, but that's why you're in the predicament you're in. You can't take no adversity. You got to see how you dance in adversity. We got this shit. We done been in deeper shit. In the hood. With our own goddamn people. We done been in these goddamn situations. Nigga get to breaking down and, and going in, you know, even been to uh, Ethiopia bringing the red, black, and green. I'm going to show you this shit. Got the G's over there. You know, the world is ready for this shit. We the catalyst. They know that. If they ready to roll the dice, and don't believe that African and black people all over the world is ready to be free, roll the dice. 
Because whatever they got at some point in time, we're going to have to see it. Fuck it. What we going to do? They're going to exterminate us. You got to understand, we got documentation where white people have exterminated uh, black races on this planet. Okay? You're going to see all kind of shit that's going to shake the foundation of whatever these crackers talking about in school. We didn't crush that shit. It ain't that we playing no goddamn games. Our scholars from the last era crushed white academia. They had never seen no a college of black scholars like that, from Dr. Ben to Sheikh Diop, Clark, Ivan Van Sertima, John G. Jackson, J.A. Rogers, on down the goddamn line, Chancellor Williams, huh? Sean Byrne, we've been doing this shit for a mighty long time. Why do we go to Egypt? Because in Egypt, we find our greatest that we ever could in architecture, medicine. At no other time have we been greater. We can talk about all goddamn nations on the planet, but when you go to Egypt, it's so visible. See, it's going to hit you in your soul. Ain't nobody else going to have no determination on what happens inside of you. It's going to hit you the same way, but you're going to wake up. You're not going to go back the same. So they don't advise people. They advise people to go anywhere in the world. But in Egypt, it just wake up so many uh, doorways into the spirit, and nobody has nothing to do with it. You connected to the, the divine. Once you understand that you divine, you will not let these people do you like you, they doing us. God damn it. These is low beasts. And I, if I had to open up, I was hoping that it was going to be, I was going to open up to make another white man. So you got to go in the cave then. If they want to come out here and understand why we the way we is, we would have took them up in the goddamn cave. See, that's Krakatosis detox. <laughs> you see, some of you niggas here, thank you with the master. Thank you, a white man. Get the goddamn degree. Lose your blackness. And so shit like here, we had to come in here and get our shit tight, you know? We had to get a dose of this, you see? And a lot of people don't want to be black. When they realize they black, man, see, that's the niggeritis. See, once you slap the crackatosis off of him, then you can see the niggeritis. See, that's what drove him. See, he thought he was white. And so he had to deny himself. See, that's the nigga rightist. See, we got to deal with these niggas. See, we, we look at y'all niggas in there, man, and y'all in there celebrating, ain't y'all? Can I get some water? Ain't them motherfuckers uh, over miles and miles of people in them? You know, can I get some water? I buy it. Please, somebody give me the water. You know what I'm saying? I got the money, shit. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> You know, our people say, <laughs> I got it, shit. You know? Thank you, sister. It's hot. You know? This shit real. They all through here. We got to be strong and firm in what we doing. We just can't be playing no games. We got to go back to Garvey. We got to find somewhere to go. We can't keep standing up under these beasts. He told us to get the fuck up. Straight up. They ain't going to treat you right. How many more thousands a year? How many more deaths? You see? But because some of our peoples led us in the wrong direction, we stopped talking about nationalism. We're talking about integration. Who are integrationists? Come on, man. See, that's what I'm saying. We got to look deep down inside of ourselves. We come out here, black power, black power, and leave out this bitch and do white power. That's why we forget about this shit every day. We, we'll get to a song, certain point and some shit will pop up. We'll be, yeah, yeah, goddamn it. Then it, we go back to the same old shit because we so tired and integrated into the beast. We don't even know how to do it without the beast. The beast dying and we sucking on his titty, all the poison and misery of his ass. We didn't took it on into ourselves when we don't know. We got to detox. We got to jump some goddamn time. You looking and you thinking, goddamn it, is, is a better chance to just jump. Fuck it. I'm telling you, man, you got to see any of that shit down, whatever he got. Because if he can play that card on you, you're going to be scared. You're going to be in fear forever. And you ain't going to do shit. It's the fear that's holding us back. Let me keep moving. Let me get into this shit. See, we got to see this. We saw this. How many times we done saw our family get lynched? Nigga just walked by. See? We didn't have, we've been doing this. We've been doing this. We've been raising a little ruckus, but we've been doing this. But the reality is, goddammit, they exterminating our ass. 
They commit uh, commit the genocide on us. If you think of all the damn murders and all the lynchings from the time we got here up into today, goddamn it, tomorrow is gonna be a murder. The, the murders have never stopped. Okay? They put us in a peculiar position. Because, goddamn it, this got to end in fire. Goddamn it, when it started. You see? And yes, we looking at this. I had shit already in the in the fire pan for that shit. See? Train. This is that's who taught him. That's who taught him. But see, at one time, you could, our people wasn't fighting like that. They had to separate them. I'm going to show you. You know, see that? Goddamn. Now you see where we at today. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to continue to do people like that and be okay with that and go and smile and take pictures and shit, what goes around comes around. This shit had to come. We done been dying by the tens and hundreds of thousands and millions. You got Leopold in the Congo, murdered over 40 million Africans. Got them in there and no others. And that was in 40 years. It's like a million a year since when that cracker was over. And then you think about all the other Hitlers of Africa. He wasn't no, the rest of them wasn't no better than him. So when we say we lost 600 million, that's a minimum. God damn it, how many millions we lost over here? And we've never done anything about it. Yeah, smack here, smack there. But tomorrow is another disgraceful murder of a black woman, another disgraceful murder of an African child. We ain't done shit about that. What, what can we say? We ask for this. If we ask for revolution and it's upon us, we should accept it and move forward with this shit and see it down. We can't turn back now because they're going to run us in the ground. You see? So we got to be firm because we know what we're standing on is right. You see? Right now today, we can see that the slavery, ain't nothing changed from the boat, the goddamn prison is the goddamn, the pen in the goddamn slave boat. Chaining motherfuckers up. Ain't never let, took the chains off. Most of the chains is on these niggas' brain today. But they waking up. They waking up. That's the, they see it. They know this day was going to come. They got letters off. You can go get books. They got books on it where the crackers was writing even back then, when the Africans, we, we outnumbered these crackers for a long time. The slaves was the bigger number. And them motherfuckers was telling, you know, the government, when the government was drafting them crackers for war, you know, the Civil War, they say, God damn it, and them, and they, we can't leave our plantations with these niggas. That's why they had to form these goddamn militias. What about the goddamn militias they let kill us? Riding around through these goddamn cities on some covert shit. I done seen them in goddamn Detroit. They do that shit. They feel like they could do it. These every motherfuckers be riding all through the goddamn city. You act like you don't know. You might not know who they is. I done seen some of them motherfuckers as a young nigga. And I done tried to step. And that motherfucker stepped back. He was a man. Shit, I had to fall back. I seen him riding through the hood and I seen the bald head on the motherfucker. Seen him riding in a rave van. I say, that motherfucker on some area next. He ain't supposed to be some shit down here with that. And so when I mugged him, shit, he bought that mug. He rolled, turned it back around. I say, well, shit, I think I'm like, okay, I'm a young nigga. I ain't trying to be Superman. I'm going to get to the crib so I can get something, though. You know, I'm going to do that. You know, we can talk about this shit in about two minutes, but I'm about to dip, you know, because he, but I'm being real. They been out here doing this shit to us, so goddamn it, hey, we don't know, but if it came around, goddamn it, it was the ancestors' will. You been doing this shit to us, and we ain't about to be apologizing for nothing. Fuck that. You see, we can see right there that the master been teaching and these niggas to beat their own brother. And then it's going to come a time where master don't even have to stand back there. You see what I'm saying? He going to beat the back automatically, walk right along with him. You see, we, we got to understand that this is what it is, and we got to fight. We've been fighting this shit since the beginning, and we're going to continue to fight it. You can't trust that. That's the master. He obey the master. He going to uphold the master law. Okay, so we got to be real at that. Ain't no friendship or brotherhood in that. You got to consider that what it is. That's the enemy. Okay, let me keep it moving. Let me keep it moving. Let's, come on, baby. See, ain't even there. Silly. Smiling and shit, right there with him. You know, that's overseas, but that's what it is. You see, embarrassing, that's our sister. But she lost. You see, as many of them that's out here, that's lioness. 
But we got a lot of our sisters that lost. We got to help them if we can, but the ones that's young, we got to make sure they don't get the ones that's right in our hands right now. We got to pull them on in. Ain't no excuse for this, these streets and these crackers to get no more our babies. They under attack. They locking them up. They putting them in all these goddamn homes, uh, raping them, just like these goddamn priests. All of them is goddamn homosexuals. God damn it, it's time, God damn it. You ain't gonna keep doing this shit to our people, raping our babies. Bitch, we know you doing it. Everybody know they doing it. So say it. Deal with it. That's revolution. Just want to turn a couple pages, get a couple facts. So you, you know a couple pharaohs and shit. That's what you want. Regurgitate a couple facts. That ain't what it's about. See, that's why we got to get back to the nationalism. It's too many motherfuckers. It's costume. They don't know the goddamn philosophy, the nationalism. We moving towards a nation for real. That's the only way we're going to survive. These crackers ain't going to give us shit. We got enough skills to do and build our own nation. We got laborers of every skill. We just don't have self-confidence. These crackers didn't broke our confidence, but it's growing. But we got to get up out of here. Garvey was 100% correct when he said, here we go. If it ain't raw, it ain't revolution. I don't know what the hell you, if you comfortable in your revolution, it ain't no goddamn revolution. See? See? They out here putting it, putting it on us. And I, I, I put the hourglass out here. And I say, goddamn it, we had to choose the top three, you know, as far as emergency, as far as an emergency, the things we need to work on right now. Anybody here say, uh, the word, changing the word nigga. Would that be in your top three? Could that save us? No. So what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if I come up in here and give y'all a pretty little lecture, is that shit out there going to change for us? We got to deal with it. They didn't, pay, they didn't put us out here. Okay? What, you going to go out there shugging and job? So you could disgrace all these revolutionary leaders that came before you? Do you really believe in them? Do y'all really love Khalid Muhammad like y'all say y'all do, or do y'all even love Khalid Muhammad? Yes. 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 Well, right then, nigga, well, then we can't turn back, because you know goddamn well Khalid was in here, which way we, we gonna go? We moving forward. You see what I'm saying? You can't turn back now. We gonna be in situations like this, okay? Revolution is supposed to make people very uncomfortable. If you see some, I just threw this in here. We uncomfortable. You see? Motherfuckers keep running here, you know what I'm saying? People feel like that. I'm just being real. But ain't shit gonna happen, I'm gonna tell you, because the ancestors is with us. But the thought that it can happen, I just told everybody before we left, everything gonna be all right. Yeah. Nigga, we good. Yeah. Only if we just fractionalize and, and start thinking that lowly thinking and shit that we cannot win. We waiting on something to come out the goddamn sky. Nigga, it's real right now. It's got to be about blackness. It can't be about nothing else. You got to put that shit first. You got to be, you know, if you're a Christian, you got to be black first and then a Christian second. Or no, no Christian at all. <laughs> Just get it all together. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, we trying to get you a chance to get together. He ain't coming back. You know he ain't. He ain't coming back. If you're comfortable with your revolution, you ain't in one. Okay? I want y'all to know that. So when you say this shit and you really say you're about that, you're about complete change. You see, they know what it mean. Khalid taught us what it mean. Malcolm taught us what it mean. Niggas just got to get a resolve. It come through training. It come knowing what's going to happen before it happens. You already got three, four, six, up to six, seven, eight moves ahead of them. You already see it. When you see it, you can move through this shit with ease. If you have not trained, you will become nervous. You will start acting erratic. You will make moves when you shouldn't make moves, and you will cower. And that's the worst shit. We cannot cower. We got to stand firm and unify. And if we unify, bring the shit on, because it's coming anyway, OK? You motherfuckers brought us here against our will and you done fucked over us. We don't have to explain ourselves to nobody. All the damn photos we can show of what did happen to our people on this damn land. 
So yeah, they need to back the fuck up off of us. And if they try to come, we have no choice but to defend our people and our cause. We cannot go back. We must be firm in our belief because it's real. This is what they did when they went into Egypt. Egypt, when the fall of Egypt, this is when our people started to become disrespected and murdered this way because they was out of, out of power. When you're out of power, a motherfucker got the boot on your neck. He could do whatever he want to to you. And that's exactly what they've been doing. So in order for this shit that we're talking about to come true, we're going to have to take his foot off our goddamn neck. He's not going to take it off being kind. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take the... You, you can get... All right. You can come up now. You can, you my friend. We're going to be friends now. What kind of shit is that? He already know what the fuck he done did to us. We don't even have to explain the shit. That's why he kicked the heat. People keep asking, God damn it, we're in an un un unpeculiar position. Because there's only one way for this shit to go. We asked him for too much, and they ain't giving us nothing. But we know what they owe us, and they not going to give it to us. And if they don't give it to us, God damn it, we're going to go into extinction because we don't have the resources to take care of our people. And now they didn't offer this shit to these other foreign motherfuckers. Now they didn't ran ahead of us. We had to take our stand today. Let me keep it moving. Revolution demands that, that you say things to disturb and, and overturn the powers to be. So we was talking this before that, and people think now because we saying this shit was written before I even did the fucking lecture. This shit from weeks ago. I say, nigga, y'all just chill. I got enough shit in there. <laughs> I don't have to create nothing. It's already there. You gonna say shit. They gonna come out. Okay? They've been listening to for us for the, for the longest. They know what the fuck this is about. Okay? The love of freedom must be greater than your fear of the white man. And that's real. We're not turning back. Get that fear about, because when you look at it, they ain't even got the numbers. They ain't even got the numbers. The violation of our African women and children must be paid in blood. I had it in there. This shit was before. You ain't got to clap. The silence, we could do this shit at the end. Let the, let the spirits run through. You see, let the spirit, we ain't got to clap. We could do that at, at the end. In blood. That's before I've been put that shit up. You ain't gonna do our mamas and our children like that and think, nigga, you gonna say, oh, it's, it's all good. He know that. That's why he shoot you down. You keep wondering why we in this predicament. They don't got no place for us to go. They been wanting to get rid of our ass, okay? So what the fuck is you choosing to do as a people? We've been taken from Africa and we've never really went home as a people and made a connection. So we don't really know right now if somebody going to help us and if they'll take us back. Man, there's African people all over Africa waiting on you. You done let these old coon ass niggas, buck, Uncle Buck ass niggas always talking down on Africa. Some of them niggas ain't right. We know that. Shit, we know that and niggas right, ain't right right around the goddamn corner. So we ain't going to go 5,000, 6,000 miles thinking everybody going to love us. You see what I'm saying? But there are Africans at home that don't give a fuck about them because they know they coonin'. It's coons all over goddamn Africa. Unless you're ready to kill crackers, you'll never be free. See, I put that shit in there before this shit even happened. I was, we, we had this shit planned out months ago. It's revolutionary Egypt. So I was already thinking in that moment. So I ain't go and saw some shit and do it in there, nigga. It came as a prophecy. <laughs> and going to St. Paul next week. And I was supposed to go to Cleveland. Had already put the flyers. I put, and then I changed it. About two weeks ago, I said, you know what? I think I'd rather, you know, get these brothers and sisters. You know, this is my first time. Let me go to St. Paul. And then this garbage, this bullshit happened. So it's like I'm going from city to city and it's, I didn't know it was going to fall like that. But, you know, it's the same goddamn message there. You see? Pull up on that cracker like you pull up on your brother and sister. Yeah. See? Look. See? 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 But I didn't put it. I just want people to know that was in there. That was already in there. 
See, I didn't just plan for the goddamn lecture. I was planning for the lecture a long time ago. I ain't even touched the lecture. I just opened it up from the last three days. Egypt was a military colony of Ethiopia. That's why it was established. The first king was a military king. Okay? We're looking right here at Mentu Hotel. This is one of our uh, un uh, brothers that united Egypt after turmoil. And it's hard to unite a nation of scattered tribes and chiefdoms. So when you're talking about, you know, uniting, we're talking one about the, one of the greatest events in world history. That's why you look up there, you see our woman. We, we ain't come from no goddamn monkeys. We've seen our woman as the universe. If you see his, his woman as the universe, you know he don't think he come from no monkey. His God is a woman. You see, the black hole is, is where the sun came from. And we became the sun. We became the Sirius. We became the representation of God on the earth. And you see right there that pyramid. You can go right there to Egypt and niggas and see that's why, why we confused today. Because so many of these books. I know I'm in the Bible Belt. Is this the Bible Belt? Uh, y'all should know. Y'all know y'all got about three, four of them at, at home. You got them. Y'all laugh with it because you know you do. I got some Bibles. There ain't nothing wrong with it. It's, it's still a book. It's still a book of fairy tales. Okay? If we talking real now, that don't mean we ain't spiritual. Look at nigga, he don't believe in God. No, nigga, I just don't believe in the white man God. You see? It was something you cannot distinguish. You see, you cannot distinguish that. You still got the crack in your goddamn book. We just showed you all the black gods of the universe. Right here, we talking about Nubia. So we not just got pyramids in Egypt. We got pyramids in the Sudan. And then you, even in what they call the Mesopotamia, but Mesopotamia did not have the resources of the continent of Africa. Most of their uh, architecture was built with like mud, brick, and that's why you don't find it there. They didn't have the stone and the granite of ancient Egypt. You know, our people have been dealing with cutting that stone for probably a million years by the time they got down there and put that pyramid down there. Blocks weighing 50, uh, 50 tons, over two million blocks. And I got there, and the first thing you get there, you say, damn. You know, first question, how the hell did they do this? You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the world, when they get there, nobody else got that. You could go to their stuff. You know how they did it. It ain't nothing beyond amazement, you see? And we got people that still will deny that, still will put these fake books. And that's why we can't fight this enemy, because he's so integrated in our core of our life, deep down in our spirit. He didn't add it all type of things to those religions. You see what I'm saying? And you thinking you can weave through it and put a little black here and a little black there. I try to play with you a minute. Give you a couple, couple of years to catch up. And then I'm going in hard on it because some people make an excuse for it and I don't do that. We're in the times right now where if you're a Christian, you can call a white man your brother and deny a black brother of any other religion. And in, in any of them religions, they could do that. That ain't black power. You're going to leave some brothers and sisters behind right there in the Hindu Kush. Well, I'm showing you a global African supremacy. These is facts. We didn't make these statues up. We're not talking about the little slant eye or uh, straight hair. Hey, he's not the true original Naga. He's not the one. We're showing you the ones right there where the brothers left up out of the Nile. And they even had slant eyes. I'm going to show you that. And you can even look at our Muslims where you go over in Arabia. They still build a mosque like the Romans. But when you come into Africa, when you go to the University of, of San Corre at Timbuktu, you can see that the Muslim, the African Muslims build a mosque in the form of pyramids. See, I'm showing you. I want to show you some things to show you that this is a universal brotherhood. See, and they know our history. And they know once we understand who we are, we're not going to settle for this shit. It's a wrap. It's a wrap on that. 
Right there, you can see again, even from the brothers like Massa Musa. So when Egypt was conquered, many of the migrations, the brothers moved up out of Egypt, but they had to go in other places because the, the Holy Land had fallen. And so you see many tri African tribes moving from out of Egypt into West Africa. Some, some tribes like the Dogon, who were meant to coming up out of, the, of the, uh, ancient Egypt. That's where they got the knowledge of Sirius and these stars. These people knew where these stars was hundreds of thousands a year because they saw them with their own eyes. You see here even in Mexico, is this a, a, a coincidence? I'm going to show you some things. You see? And so right here you're looking at Kush Major. That's Africa. And you see right there where the, where the vegetation is. That's the Congo rainforest. Okay? We're talking about fresh water. I mean, air, oxygen. We're talking about... 75% of the natural herbs on the planet are in the rainforest. We're talking about all the animals. There's more animals in the rainforest than it is out on the savanna. Tens of thousands of different varieties of trees and animals that they ain't even found yet up there. And so you, then you're looking, not only do you have the rainforest, then you got the Holy Great Lakes region. That's fresh water. That's fresh water coming up out the mountains. The highlands. So we got, this is your paradise. And when you see all of these animals running through Africa in the tens of thousands, they flying over in helicopters. It's tens of thousands in each species. And the Kraken went over there and murdered the land. Killed that wheel. Killed everything. And the goddamn dumbass niggas helped them to do this. But then you got megaliths in Great Zimbabwe. Okay, you got megaliths in Aksum, which is modern-day Ethiopia, with the Ethiopian stellar. I'm going to show you that. I just got to take you through this geography. And then you got megaliths in Nubia. Okay, then you got megaliths. Where else can you go on the planet and just see megalithic ancient structures like this all up and down the Africa, from the south to the north? This is proving that we had the greatest technology. And we never need to know monkey man business or none of this shit. We had everything we needed. The Africa didn't have to ask a motherfucker for nothing because we already had it. Okay, and then you're talking about uh, Kush Minor, which is the uh, southern portion of Asia, all down in Malaysia, Indonesia, all over in Papua New Guinea. I'm going to show you. Australia, uh, uh, with Tasmania. And you see many of the models all over the walls where our people was on the boats from the very beginning. From the very beginning. You see right there, the Nubians. This is in the early dynasties, okay? Amenhotep, that's the 18th dynasty. But you still see it, you see the various of boats going up and down, not only the Nile, but the Red Sea. We've been on the water. Every time you see some shit about uh, how the humanity came together, they make it look like people walk all the way to damn Australia. Ain't nobody walked all the way to no damn Australia. Them people was on boats when they left Africa. Walking. You see, this is the shit we talking about. You got goat herders talking about building an ark. You're a goat herder. What the hell you need with a boat? And what the, where would you have built a boat for? You got all these damn camels and shit. You're in the desert. And then Noah builds a boat. For what? Okay, okay. And so you see right here, the Magi. You see, we, 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 we warriors, been warriors. We can't put this shit up. And we, if this is us, we got to live it. We got to embody the spirit of our ancestors right here. We come in the war. The Nubians came up each time with uh, Mentu Hotel. They came up with Amos to put the invaders out. They was in every war of pushing the enemy out of Africa, okay? They stepped up and did their part. We're looking at the Omex. I got to show y'all this, to show y'all that we're not playing no game. Here you see the sarcophagus. They don't even show you that. You got the Stella, you know, where they had a stone slab, and they'll carve some royal decree in it. You got the heads, you got the pyramid. I'm going to show you so many similarities. It's not a coincidence. These brothers was from the Nile Valley. 
that we was over here long before slavery, but the majority of us are here today because of slavery. This was the last outpost from Africa. We went into Asia and so-called Europe first, and then we came over here. And we came from both sides. Coming from that way, you see how I'm doing, and coming from this way. Coming from the Atlantic and coming through the Pacific. We came on both sides. And then you come to Egypt, you see the sarcophagus. See the stone sarcophagus? And then you got hieroglyphs on them too. They got burial masks, all of the ritualisms, the same. Where else do you see the, you can't just pop into this knowledge. Look at the damn Arab. Now today he got skyscrapers in Dubai and all over. But it, it was his connect with the West. If he had no connect with the West, you would never see skyscrapers over there. So you just can't fall into that kind of knowledge. Okay? You have to go to high technical schools to learn that. Where did they learn that from? I'm just getting started, family. We had to dance through this shit. Here we go. We're looking at the, the structure. They get this structure of the temple uh, uh, elongated, elongated or rep, 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 what the shit? Let me get it right. Re rectangle. I'm moving. Rectangle. Okay, here we go. And it's the Egyptian temple where they got this basis from, from the Masonic temple, from uh, St. Peter's, even the mosque at Mecca. It's on a uh, rectangle. I got the blue uh, the blueprint, okay? I have that laid out side by side with the Egyptian temple. Solomon's temple, none the same. Even the one at Angkor Wat, none the same. They got books out there on that. Them white boys disposed that long time ago, but y'all didn't know how to lead the atheism, okay? You went over there, the white boy, Gerald Massey, was an atheist. You went over there, Albert Churchward was an atheist. Okay, y'all didn't know how to leave that shit behind. Even though he showed you a little something, you took it off. And then you go to, to India, okay? You can see the same lay. This is in St. Coray, West, West Africa. It's the same temple. It's a uni, universal temple that was designed in Africa. Okay, you see right there the pyramid. Why is it that the pyramid is all over? Because it's a universal belief. It's a global African supremacy. At this time, the the Kushites is ruling all over the planet. Niggas thinking we making it up? Okay, keep it moving. We looking at Hannibal. We got to understand that we ruled even in today, what today is Europe before the Moors. Hannibal was up in there around, uh, I think it was uh, 200 uh, BC or AD, somewhere around there. I'll get it for you. Okay, but he was in there before the Moors. He, he built a city of Barcelona. People go to Barcelona today. His father built that city. So many of them cities was given names by African rulers. Hannibal was a, 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 a guerrilla warfare type of general. They thought he was going to face them head on a lot of times. And so when he took it to the, to the uh, mountains to take these elephants through these Alps to come around, they thought he had deserted. They around there playing games, partying, talking about they done ran the nigga out, out of Africa, I mean out of Europe. And he came around and met them in battle, and however many he slayed was one of the largest slayings in one single battle in world history. Called them slipping. See, you got to do stuff that they ain't expecting you to do. You go out there doing the same thing all the damn time. You know you're going to do that, nigga. Get your sign your ass out there, nigga, you'll be tired by tomorrow, and then when you got to go to work Monday, you damn sure going to disappear, okay? Let me get out of here, okay? You looking right there, that's Scorpion. That's one of the kings but even before Nama. See, they didn't really unite Egypt into the third dynasty. Them early kings were fighting, and these wasn't just no little itty-bitty kings. When I show you their graves, none of you could afford graves like this. These men, even the very first kings of Egypt, were in tombs, man, that must be recognized as grand, okay, even in the very beginning. Let me go into this. 
Okay, now you're looking at the nomies of Egypt. What are nomies? Nomies are counties. They are districts. You can see they count them from the south. One is what? Tasseti. Okay? That's Aswan. Abu, Elephant Time, was the capital of, if you ever, you know, know anything about Egypt and you go to Aswan, you will see the island of Ele Elephant Time. And that was where the capital of the first Nomi, and that's Tasseti. Okay? And then you go to the third Nomi, you're coming down. You're counting because the civilization is coming down the river from the Great Lakes region. The Nile is flowing out of the mountainous regions, down in the south, up in the south, and the river is flowing down. The land is becoming lower and lower and lower when you get into Egypt. And so every year when the Nile floods, the, the highlands will bring this rich silt down into Egypt, and it fertilized the land, and it became a storehouse. That's why it was one of the reasons why they saw Egypt. Shit, Rome fed itself, fed the whole Roman Empire off of you. So these, you have to learn that. And you will see in each one of those nomies, they had a particular deity. And that deity still was the supreme deity in that district. And then you had the national deity, which was Amun-Ra. And the God is Mu, okay? And you're going to see all in the Bible where they taking the headdress of the vulture, putting it on these peck of woods. This is a southern goddess. Mood is a southern goddess. Nude is a northern goddess, more particularly in Egypt. So they like to disdain them southern gods and goddess. So we're looking at this cemetery. I got to show you this. This is the first royal cemetery in ancient Egypt. And you can see they even got one of the sisters up there. You know, I don't, I don't pronounce it so well, but you can look it up. Okay, I don't want to be one of them. Okay? You look, you see it, and you can write it down. And you can look it up. But do you even got sisters in that burial ground? Okay? Let me go in here. Look at this. This is Nama's uh, tomb. Look at that. And each one of them belonged to him. He would have had like a master bar above that, but each one of them was filled with pottery, furniture, whatever it was. It was just like in the uh, pyramid, but it was much, you know, it's just smaller. But that, you know, the spirituality up under the master bar is the same one up under the pyramid. They had already reached supreme development in that. The same one, the way they buried it, is the same way it's up under the pyramid. Okay? It may be larger. A warrior king. This is Narmer. You see, he got the crown of the south, the crown, the supreme crown. Okay, that's the one that Amun got on. That's the one that Asar, showing you that they revered the south over the north. Okay, they revered the south over the north. You see right there, you see the sister coming to check? Make sure this nigga done done what he supposed to do. Daddy didn't send me down here from Kush. You see what I'm saying? See what you do? You know, if you took the hairs off, and he took the hairs off. See? We talk about this. Long before the air was cutting, you see right there on the uh, normal palate, severing the heads. You came on the land. This the violation. The struggle continues. Our ancestors live in us. So, you know, the spirit of today is an ancient spirit. You see? This is uh, the next king, the Jir. And look at it. Look at his uh, uh, burial tomb. Each one of them compartments would have been full of something. Look at that. Look at the ones over there. This is the first king. Dynasty one. So you can just imagine what they took up out of it. So Egypt wasn't really a developed. It was already fully developed. But they just got to get the mass of people down here so they could do what they need to do. But they had all the element of greatness from the very beginning. Let me keep, look at these boats right there at the same uh, burial ground. These are the oldest boats that ever been found. We talking about 3200 BC. We already own the boats. This shit is old to us. Just like you see the boat outside of Khufu, the big, uh, uh, the, 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 the largest pyramid of Khufu, there would be an ark out there. His ark, the ark of Khufu. So this was showing you that the spirituality was already in place before him. From the very beginning. That is right there. 
Let me keep it moving. That's the, uh, you know, where the, you know, if you look up under a master bar, it's a single story. I'm going to show you where MOTEP going to stack them. But if you look at how, if you go up under there, and you know the different, then they got the, gra uh, the uh, grave chamber down here. It's the same way in the pyramid. They had already reached their development in the early kingdom. So Egypt is a very young nation. You go up the river, you go on millions of years. You're going to see where it come from. You can see that they align with the, the constellations, Orion, the three stars of Orion's belt. Okay, now the old kingdom, that's when they really unified. The first two dynasties, they were still fighting. But in the third dynasty, they really brought it together. So that's where the old kingdom start. Okay, you got Imhotep, the world's first multi-genius, ushered in the pyramid age, the first recorded physician in world history, wrote some of the oldest papers, even if I wrote it wrong, then let's flow. Okay, in world history, the first grandmaster of the craft of Ptah. Okay, let me move through. So the... Under Ptah is where you see that the greatest monuments in world history was built. Not under Jesus, not under Allah, not under none of that. Ptah. If we was doing that under Ptah, I think we need to get back to Ptah. Because, goddammit, we've been on our knees begging and waiting, and goddammit, all type of hideous acts has happened to us, happiness to us while we're waiting. Waiting on a God that's never going to return. And if he's never going to return, that's a perpetual genocide that we can't get out of. You trapped. And I got to get you up out of it. I got to wake you up. Get you up off that trap. We can't be scared today. We got to be strong. Zosier. This is when we start seeing skyscrapers. This is the first stone structure above ground in history where we're now building with stone. This is masonry. Not no goddamn Solomon. Solomon didn't even exist. You're talking about Solomon and some damn Hiram and Biff. Imhotep is the first grandmaster. He built the first uh, pyr uh, building in stone. Okay, and started the Pyramid A right there at Saqqara. I've been there three times. Even then, you'll see the oldest columns in the world. Okay, and this, bu this building look almost modern like they did it the yesterday when you look at it. Those are the columns that we're talking about when you come in. The oldest columns in the world. That pyramid is 2700 BCE. You see right there, that's a master bar. He began to stack them until now you have a skyscraper, but it's also a ladder where the soul climbs the ladder to meet Osiris in the sky. That's who the, they was going to meet. Not no white Jesus, that black god Osa and his queen who represented the star Sirius. I set. We put ourselves up there. That was who we saw. And so we got that mean just like Harriet Tubman. She had to go to the star to get us through this. We're going to have to go back to the star for longitude and latitude. too. We got to know where the hell we going to go. We got to know when we leave up out of here where the hell we going if we got to get up out of here. We ain't playing no games. Okay? Keep it moving. Right there, Sinefaru. The first God king that started to reach towards perfection. Only in Egypt where you find true pyramids. Reaching the point. Using granite. Not no damn mud and no straw and none of that. Stone. Okay, and you see the one at the top. One of the gods, Huni. I think of the uh, fourth dynasty. He started it and who, uh, Seneferu came in to try to finish it, but somehow it fell down. They, that's after Imhotep. They trying to reach towards the true pyramid. I can show you the whole development of the pyramid in Africa. Goddamn Jews talking about y'all watching this shit on. How the hell they put on the damn Ten Commandments on Easter? I thought Easter was supposed to be about Jesus. Goddamn Jesus. You know, y'all don't even see the shit they doing. Playing with you. And so... You can see right there at the top, you see they trying to, from Imhotep, they trying to fill in the steps. You see, this is the Bent Pyramid, also built by Sneferu. He was of the fourth dynasty. He was the father of Khufu, who built the biggest pyramid that ever been built at Giza. This is his father. And you can see right there, if he would have brought that right there to a point. <laughs> I mean, he had to stop. Because, it, you know, there was, you know, the structure might have been 
you know, about to collapse. So they had to cut it off. They couldn't complete it. But if he would have completed it, it probably would have been the second largest pyramid on the planet. Okay, but that's when he reached perfection. The Red Pyramid. This is Seneferu, that one king right there. He's responding. He didn't put more stone on the planet than any king. Okay, even his son. And that's Kafras. That's his grandson. You can see it got the limestone. So I'm showing you all these megaliths that's still here. Egypt lasted long. Well, Nubia lasted it longer than Egypt, but you're talking about two civil civilizations that lasted over damn near 4,000 years apiece. Even if they fell down, they lasted longer than everybody else. Why wouldn't you use them as a blueprint? Huh? We was doctors. We was renowned in the world. Our woman was revered all over the world. You could go and see temples to goddesses. We loved our woman. When we was a, the greatest kings on the planet, our woman was our God. We don't understand that. Okay, that's the balancing, getting us where we need to be. They showed us the way. We got to go back. We got to go back. We'd have lost the way. We had too many of these patriarchal caveman religions. They don't know how to treat no goddamn woman. They too busy in there in love with the damn dog. They love the dog more than they love the woman. Y'all know it to be true. Don't be mad at me. Khufu, you can see him right there. He built the largest pyramid ever, but this the, is the only statue they could find of the, the God. Little statue like this. They just stole it all. Stole it all. Okay? And you can see right there, there's nowhere on the planet where you can go and see such grandeur. You see Khufu, 2589, 2566, his son in the middle, look like it's larger, it's not, it's just on a higher ground. Kafra, and you can see Africa in his name. If you look at the K-H-A-F-R-A, -A, you just put the Ka on the end. Ka Africa. Come to you. Those expressions didn't been in the universe long before the peck of wood. If you start your history with the, the cracker, the slave boat, you got crackatosis. You believe in him. You believe that he's the one that seals the deal. He's, a, he's the greater intellectual. Till you pulled back the, the screen, you know, the, the, uh, the curtain and see what's behind the curtain. And he's messing with these beasts and he's messing with these babies. And he got all type of contraptions, hideous contraptions in all forms of social living. That they, we, when I put it up, you're mad at me. Okay, and what I'm showing you here. See, you coming from the south. You coming from the Great Lakes region. This is going down towards the Mediterranean, towards Egypt, you know, the lower region down on the Mediterranean. You can see the Bent Pyramid here. You can see the development is coming from the south as he's moving down south. That's the Red Pyramid. He's getting better. You see what I'm saying? To when they get all the way down to Giza, they didn't reach perfection. You can see the development. That's beautiful. You see? Coming from the south. So hey, if, 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 if the, the builders of the pyramid came outside of Africa, all the development I'm showing you would be on the other side of the damn pyramid. I mean, you ain't going to just start building big on the first damn time. Shit, how you get here? Keep it moving. And so when you get to the Americas, you can see our brothers had came over here and laid the mysteries down long before the Indian that you see here today. Them is latecomers. The hell you cutting out 10,000 hearts a goddamn day. You ain't brought no civilization. Talking about the Aztecs and all that. I had to get on that shit. Talking about, man, they came in and inhabited them damn out areas. Our people built that. They know nothing about that. We taught them, okay, the things that they know. But they were still on a savage state. I mean, I know we always want to be friends with somebody. <laughs> but did they just tell you, watch uh, uh, ap Apocalypto, snatching all these goddamn hearts. These people don't give a goddamn about you. They'll smile in your face so you won't kick their ass, but they plotting on you. So you see the... And you see right here, it's coming to a point, but when you get to the Americas, let me bring it in. This was supposed to be in China. 
That one in China. This one in uh, Mexico. And this one is in Egypt. The only one that come to a point using masonry, stone. Come on, let me come out of this. This is Lala Bella, been there too. And so they did a different type of style where they carved the mountain down. And I seen this one temple in